Good morning, everyone. Madam Moderator, Honorable Ministers, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, I feel greatly honored to be given this opportunity to participate and to speak in this auspicious conference to share the experience of Tanzania and peace building through education. The United Republic of Tanzania is a union of former of two former countries, uh, the Republic of Tanganyika and the People's Republic of Zanzibar, which is uh, an island. The union which came into effect on the 26th of April, year uh, 19, 1964. Uh, the country, uh, for those who doesn't know, uh, know it, lies in um, the East African coast and is bordering a number of countries, including Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, DR Congo, Zambia, Malawi, and Mozambique. So it has many um, neighboring countries or bordering countries. The country has a total area of some 945,000 square kilometers. And uh, by year 2002, it had a population of 34.4 million people. The current projected population, though, is uh, over 40 million people. Christianity and Islam are the main religions practiced by most people, but there are also people, many who don't believe in, who don't have any religious belief, or they have their traditional uh, modes of beliefs. It was a British uh, protectorate. The country was a British protectorate for 42 years that is from year 1918 to 1960, before it became independent in, in year 1961. It's a multi-party state and enjoys strong friendship and cooperation with its neighbors, mainly through membership to the East African community and the Southern Africa Development Community. The education system in Tanzania is comprised of formal education structure on one hand, and non-formal non education structure on the other hand. The structure of the formal education and training system is a 27423 plus, that is two years of pre-primary education, uh, year one and two, seven years of uh, primary education, standards one to seven, four years of secondary ordinary level education, and uh, two years of secondary advanced level education, and then finally three or more years of higher or uh, higher education or university education. The official attending age, age ranges from five to six for pre-primary, seven to 13 for primary, 14 to 17 years for all level secondary, and 18 to 19 for A level secondary, and 20 to 24 for tertiary education. Madam Moderator, let me now focus on the subject of the conference. The relationship between peace building and education, that is uh, the relationship between peace building and education. Tanzania is one of the countries that got its independence in a, a rather peaceful manner. There are no physical fighting, there are no bullets uh, fired um, only um, um, words of the mouth conferences and the, mo um, the first president um, attending UN conference and asking for peace, for, for uh, independence for the, uh, for the country. However, well, it was different in Zanzibar, I mean, the other part of the union. I mean, it was a coup in, uh, in Zanzibar which overthrew the sultan at that time and uh, the people became independent, and then a um, few months later, the union of the two nations. However, we are aware that peace building is a continuous process of making sure that a country or society creates conditions for sustainable, peaceful coexistence of its people, and that as a country, we have the task of creating these conditions in order to prevent conflicts from erupting. Um, we've been a truly island of peace for many years. We celebrated 50 years of uh, independence last year from 61 to 2011, and it's been peaceful 
um, all that time. It is within such context that the process of making people aware of the value of peace becomes necessary. This process of awareness creation is education. Education shapes ideas and actions. It opens new horizons and new understanding on human experience. The education system in Tanzania is designed to foster peaceful coexistence of its people. Ever since 1967, the government, through the able leadership of the late former President Julius Kambarage Nyerere, who was the pres first president of the country, proposed an alternative education, educational model that is education for self-reliance, designed to reorient the goals, values, and structure of education inherited from the colonial government. The vision was to have an education that serves the common good and fosters social goals of living and working together peacefully. It is also important to note that shortly after the 1967 reforms, Tanzania declared um, 1970 as de um, declared adult education in 19, uh, 1970. The government felt that it would be unwise to concentrate all efforts on education on educating children living behind adults who are the parents and guardians of our children in a state of illiteracy, for this would imply delaying the country's development for generations. Adult education was conceived and still is uh, considered as a liberating force to arouse popular con consciousness uh, for change and providing a strong foundation upon which peace and harmony would be built for the young generation. To date, the government still perceives adult education as an agency for instilling in people the de desire for change and love for peace. One good and logical reason is that our children are not raised in isolation. They live and grow up with their parents while interacting with other adults and community members in society. These adults surrounding our children must also be functionally literate in peace building and appreciate the value of peace to be able to impart the same skills to the young generation. Education provides the basic literacy skills needed for one to live in harmony in a society. No doubt, lack of education propagates psychofanatic society and limits economic opportunities. As correctly stated by um, UNESCO, um, there is a strong relationship between education and peace. Education ensures development, peace, and democracy. Madam Moderator, among the various subjects taught at uh, primary and secondary school levels, civic, civic education is taught as a compulsory subject. The emphasis being on love, unity, decency, and respect for all without segregation. The idea behind is that when children are educated on the elements of peaceful coexistence, at a tender age, they are likely to grow up as responsible adults, respecting others and cherishing peace. The same is done with, uh, the same is done with, uh, with religious studies which are also conducted in our schools at primary as well as in secondary schools. Although Tanzania is a secular state, its citizens have different religious beliefs. Religion is also taught as a compulsory subject in primary as well as in secondary schools to instill in the children a sense of love, respect, and acceptance for differences in beliefs. The use of Kiswahili as a national language spoken by all citizens, is another factor facilitating the uh, promotion of peace in the country. Although Tanzania has many ethnic tribes, it has uh, about 120 tribes in all, and all, the, all of them speak different languages, which really are um, not comprehensible to another, another tribe. Um, but we've chosen to, uh, to use Kiswahili as a medium of communication for for all, and also a medium of communication and instruction in primary schools across the country. 
except for a few public and private English medium schools. Kiswahili is spoken by all Tanzanians, and this has facilitated to galvanize the unity of all citizens. Kiswahili is a national language and one of the unifying factors uh, of the country. The language has facilitated the process of nation building, peace and stability in the country. Experience from other countries show that conflicts, tensions and riots may be caused by unemployment, economic instability and hatred based on tribal groupings and religious beliefs. Recognizing this, the government of the United Republic of Tanzania has taken necessary measures to curb youth unemployment. The government is also aware that in the emerging knowledge-based global economy, learning and skills of this group is important so as to shape the economic growth of the country and to combat poverty. Technical education, vocational training, or TVET, is offered by both government and non-government agencies. Enrollment in TVET programs has increased over the years. Uh, examples are an increase fro, um, from 82,162 students in year 2009, which went to 104,840 in the subsequent year to 2010. Madam Moderator, allow me to also share with your distinguished delegates our experiences in public-private partnership in education provision for our people. The government, through its liberalization uh, policies, has invited the private sector, communities, and NGOs to invest in education to complement government efforts. In this context, we acknowledge and recognize the contribution of various private education service providers, including people who are attending here, uh, FESA schools. This is a um, Turkish community in Tanzania, operating in Tanzania, in provision of both primary as well as secondary education to the Tanzanian children. FESA schools consist of an ASRI primary and secondary school, both ordinary level as well as uh, advanced level. Both girls and boys are admitted to FESA schools, Nonetheless, they are uh, they're guided by the same vision and mission, that is to grow a new golden generation instilled with open-mindedness, curiosity, crea uh, creativity, dignity, respect, in integrity of character, integrity of character, value-driven attitudes, innovative minds, and uh, synerg synergetic coexistence. Accordingly, to cultivate a culture of multicultural understanding, tolerance, and respect in an, in an atmosphere of mutual support and positive adult-student relationships. Because of the nature of its mission, Feather Schools do not discriminate against any member of its community on the basis of sex, race, religion, national origin, ancestry, and creed, or marital or parental status. All other non-government schools in the country do the same, hence contributing to peaceful coexistence in the country. Madam Moderator, allow me to conclude my speech by saying again that, indeed, peace and education are two sides of one coin. In Tanzania, we have successfully managed to maintain peace because people have been made aware of the value of peace through education. However, it is important to note that Peace building is not static. Rather, it is a continuous process that needs nurturing from the earliest age possible. Children need to grow in an environment where they appreciate the value of peace because with peace they can freely make progress and move forward. It is also important to that. Uh, it is also important to that, although the few examples I've given in my speech are based on what happens in schools. There is a lot more children learn as they grow and interact with parents and other community members. This means that education has to be holistic and continuous process. It should not only start and end within the four walls of the school, of our school buildings. See, uh, significantly, it should as well be a lifelong process it is only um, through this approach that peace building through education will be sustainable. Um, 
Madam Moderator, I thank you all for your kind attention.